Hey, what's up everyone? Today we've got a 15 inch MacBook Air with the M3 processor that just landed on our bench. The screen is completely defective. At first I was planning to order a replacement and fix it, but then I saw the prices. Most of them available screens are aftermarket, which I avoid like a plug. And the original Apple screens cost as much as, well, another MacBook. So yeah, we are parting this baby out for sure. Let's flip it over and start the teardown. The bottom case has only four screws, which is probably the most generous thing Apple has ever done for repair techs. Once those are out, I recommend using a suction cup to lift the cover. Start from the front, lift it up and then gently work your fingers along the palm rest area until it pops. Don't rush it, treat it like a first date. Gentle, patient, no sudden moves. Once the cover is off, we we'll get a full view inside. And as always, Apple keeps things simple. You know, simple for them, not for us. Honestly, this is my first time taking apart exact M3 model, so we're learning together here. If something explodes, well, pretend it was part of the tutorial. There is not a lot you can upgrade here, but removing the logic board isn't too bad. First, disconnect the battery, very important unless you like sparks and regrets. Then unplug the ribbon cable going to the touchpad. Apple also placed a tiny little metal covers everywhere. You'll need to remove those before disconnecting some of the cables. Also go ahead and disconnect all three LCD video cables early. After that, remove the screws holding the logic board. The speakers and antenna module need to come out too because Apple likes to hide screws under everything. And of course, they use about four different screw sizes because why make life easier? Very important warning for everyone swapping the logic board. If you're replacing your board with a donor board, make sure you get it together with a Touch ID power button. Touch ID is paired to the original logic board at the factory. Your old button will not work on a different board. It's like Apple's versions of Soulmates. They are bonded for life. Buy them as a matching set or you'll have a very expensive power button that doesn't do much. The battery is glued in like Apple was trying to stop it from escaping the country. Removing it usually requires a strong twine and a lot of patience. If you can buy a full top case assembly with a battery already installed, it'll save you headaches and therapy. Finally, there are four screws on each side holding the LCD assembly. Remove those and boom, you are done. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Love and peace.